I. This is Shari Mustafa, a senior software developer from Rise Software. In this lab, we will be introduced to test case management with Microsoft Test Manager 2012. Microsoft Test Manager 2012 can be used to organize test plans, author and manage test cases, and run manual tests. This lab will provide basic understanding of how Microsoft Test Manager can be used to perform these activities. For further discussion of um, manual tests, check the lab titled Authoring and Running Manual Tests Using Microsoft Test Manager 2012. In order to start this lab, you need to download Visual Studio 2012 Virtual Machine, which can be found on the blog of Brian Keller this lab has three exercises managing test suits and test cases analyzing test runs and selecting builds to test against let's start the first exercise in this exercise we will learn how to create and configure a new test plan in microsoft test manager this test plan can be used for instance to test a new release of a software project to start this lab, you have to log into the virtual machine using the credentials on the screen. To start the test manager, go to Start menu, Program Files, Microsoft Visual Studio 2012, then select the Microsoft Test Manager. After selecting it, make sure you select the Testing Center, then Plan. Here we can find a test plan called Iteration 2. Under this test um, plan, there is four test suites. Three of them, seven, eight, and nine, are uh, requirement-based test suites. That means they have test cases that are linked to user stories, like this one. For the last one, end-to-end -end tests is a static uh, t static test suite which can contain other test suites or arbitrary test cases currently it's empty the last type of uh, test suites is query based suites these are uh, test suites were which are based on uh, queries for example you can select all the uh, test suites which has uh, sorry test uh, cases which has um, priority 2, for example. Note that each um, test suite has a status. The state can be in planning, in progress, or completed. Only test suites in progress are present here in the test panel. Back to the plan. Note here in the content here that any test case can be ed uh, edited, deleted, or opened. To learn more about manual testing, check the lab authoring and running manual tests using Microsoft Test Manager 2012. Let's check the configurations. Note that you can select uh, from the configuration list which configuration you want to. Let's select Vista and IE7. Also check the properties panel. Here you can check um, test settings. For example, let's check the manual runs test settings. For example, here you can check the data and diagnostics uh, providers. These are very important for um, filing bugs as these adapters can be used to log data about 
everything starting from the event log to even video recording the whole session like the video recorder let's check the event log here you can check which event logs to, uh, to save which types to collect and the maximum entries to look for per test note also we can check the video recorder click finish and we are good to go check also that we can check the test environments for example you can um, in a web scenario you need to check both the environment on the client and the ser on the server for this demo all the environment is on the same machine note also you can um, check the builds like here and the build quality for example you it the uh, UHS dust under investigation release and so on also you can target a specific build now we are ready for exercise 2 analyzing test runs in this exercise you will learn how to use the test activity to analyze test runs this time we will start in the test tab instead of the plan tab this by default starts in run test step uh, or window um, by selecting any test suite we would get the test runs for that test suite and their uh, its status for example we can see that test 41 is active uh, that's for the configuration Vista and IE7 for the same test for the configuration uh, Windows Server 2008 and Windows 7 it failed and so on and two passed for 40 take care that every test has uh, one uh, one run per configuration that's why we have 341 run uh, 41 test case runs there is another state which is blocked blocked is uh, a status that can be used by the tester indicating that they are unable to perform the test case perhaps due to something such as user story not being implemented yet or a dependency requirement not working for example if uh, some feature depends on uh, a logged in user and the uh, login module wasn't yet there that would be a perfect case for blocking the test case let's check the analyze test runs window for example let's check uh, this one you can see here a lot of the data we we have we entered before in the previous exercise uh, like the um, type of the run um, the build and so on also ton data like when the test was started and when it was ended here there are another tab test step which has more details about each run let's check one note here the data these attachments are attachments that were collected during the run for example this was the video like the one we did in uh, like the um, one we, that might have been uh, done if we use the video um, diagnostic adapter also some system information and so on exercise 3 selecting builds to test against in this exercise you will learn how to use the track activity to navigate and select the builds to test against this time we will start in the track tab which de by default goes to the queries we will select assign build where we can select different builds according to what we see note here that every time we change the build the work item related change these are, are bugs related to that build for example check bug uh, task number 27 
then this build other tasks and user stories result then the latest one is the bug and test cases by assigning to plan we can view the recommended tests which will indicate to the testers that this build warrants by uh, doing a full test rerun future so test will be using the new build by default these recommendations are provided by the test impact analysis note here that the related work items are all the, the ones we had before from here we can reset all these tests to active now when you go to the test activity and back to 7 we can see that uh, all the test cases from the um, case 7 which were in a pause state before are now in the active state again when we go to the track related work items note now that all the tasks and bugs and user stories here are either resolved or closed now when we go to the test to suite 8 when we come here and reset all of these to active then go back to verify box this is where tester could select previously reported bugs and rerun the tests if the tests do not pass the tester would resign uh, reassign the bugs back to the developers this concludes exercise 3 in the lab in this lab we we had a basic understanding of how Microsoft test manager works we learned how to create and configure new test plans in Microsoft test manager we also learned how to use the test activity to analyze test runs finally we learned how to use the track activity to navigate and select the builds to test against. Thanks.